When is the last time that you reversed your braid? For me, it's braid reversal day. Yep, it's blowing, uh, let's see, gale force outside and getting colder. So what am I doing here in the wolf den? I'm reversing my braid. Yeah, that's what we do around here. We reverse our braid. I got here my lowly thin ore what is it called again? I'm just, I always forget. My Finor LT40. And I got this braid on here that's about 40 pound. And it is all kinds of different shades of yellow. So how do I change and reverse my braid? Well, Unlike the rest of the world, I'm sort of really into this stuff. And I have, and it's hard to pronounce, and I see cheaper versions out there today. But this is a, right here, this whole part right here, this pack of little tools or parts and pieces, this spool is all part of the Daiichi Seiko Line Recycler. It comes from Japan. I literally bought it from Japan off of eBay. And it was amazing. It was like here within like four days. This is the fastest thing that I ever received from Japan in my entire buying lifetime. I got it clamped into this table it clamps on. This is a reel. This has a handle over here. It turns a, a gear case that turns this. I have an entire video of it. I'd say I'd put it in the video description. But why bother? Nobody looks at it. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you this. My days of providing all kinds of superfluous information are now over because now since I know nobody ever looks at any of it it's going to make my editing jobs a lot easier and all that and uploading but what this has it's got a reel over here and I can turn a spool and it's got bracketry to hold the reel so it makes it very easy for me all I need is basically two empty quarter pound spools. Now you can do this with uh, a you know cordless drill and a, a helper or a hole with a pencil in it. All you need to do is take the line off of your reel, put it on a spool. Then, of course, take that spool, transfer it to another spool, which will re- um, reverse it, and then now you put it back on the reel. I don't hear about this or see it on YouTube or anything about reversing your braid because the stuff doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. It can be used and used and used and used and used constantly. It's like, you know, do you have to buy new braid all the time like mono? Hell no, you don't have to. So I'm taking, I've been sort of on this kick now of taking these fin or spinners of mine that I haven't done any maintenance on or any, I have not done anything to these reels. But today I am reversing the line just because I can and I have the time to do it here because it's blowing like crazy and the trip that I had scheduled for like tomorrow got moved again and then again again and then it moved again and <laughs> man I'm telling you so now I am reeling 
this line that I have that used to be on the top, I am putting it on the bottom now. And then all that fresh stuff that's been down in the spool for years will now be at the top. And it'll be very useful and it'll be clean and it will be uh, bright color again so people can see it laying on the water and the whole nine yards there. Probably won't get out some of the spin from people turning the handle because braid still spins like mono. That's what creates the loopity dupes in the spool of spinners. That doesn't happen in bait casting equipment. Doesn't happen to me. I have no problems with that. I could have my line all spun up on my bait casters and it really don't matter. But I just wanted to put that out there that this is something that I never hear about. Just use your common sense. You can, if you don't have one of these, which I'm lucky enough to have, and there's other ones on Amazon and eBay and all. This is one of the first real ones that I remember coming out was the Daiichi Seiko. Uh, they make a lot of fishing products for over there in Japan. And as we all know, the Japanese are really into the details and having a, a gadget for about everything. So what I'm doing is it has a drag over here where I can, it's got like a real handle and it's got a star drag and I can tighten, have this tight, go on nice and tight and I'm rewinding it on these spinners. Does anybody do this? I mean, I you ever never hear about it. So I figured I'd just throw it out there while I'm doing it. It's something that probably saves you a lot of money and it saves uh, your braid you know I mean you can reverse it you're right back into some fresh stuff oh I wanted to also mention on basically like none of my reels I don't think especially on a spinner I'm not doing it these fin oars down in the spool here come with a rubber what would you call it like a rubber thick rubber band built into the spool so I'm not going to get no slippage I've never had slippage in my entire life of using braid I I run full braid I don't put mono underneath hey this braid is cheap today it's cheap so I don't I don't bother but what I'm doing is I'm just reversing it here. And I'll try to give you a different... I'll give you another camera angle to look at. All right, here's the entire setup here. This is the spool that I reversed. And this has a little star drag over here. Uh, it's got a handle. And it's got this bracketry that's uh, locking in the reel. And I got it clamped, as you can see, inside here. And what I did initially is I took all the line off. Then I took that line and I put it on this spool. I took this, I took this bracketry off here, and I just had a spool down here. How did I do that? Yeah, no, I, I took all the line, put it on this up here, because this has got the handle. Then I took this spool and put it down here, and then I took this spool and put it up here, and I reversed it, and then now I'm taking and putting the line back on here. Kind of confusing, <laughs> but it works. But it works for bait casters. This, this machine works for um, uh, spinners. It works for everything. 
And I'm really glad to have this thing because I've literally wore it out. This gearbox right here is literally the gears are worn down to like nubs because I've used this so much cranking line off of reels. This is today's project while it's blowing outside. So I thought I'd throw it out there. So I'll see you on the next one. I got lots of videos planned, but sometimes I got to get up my motivation. I don't get motivated unless I see lots and lots of these and I don't see those. So but I just thought I'd throw it out there.